I'm going to start, you know, by saying that this trip was more of a, a spiritual experience for me. If you love water as much as I do, then this must be your thing. So we travelled on a on a short weekend trip to a medieval town in England called Sandwich, as in the bread sandwich. We went on a boat trip. The trip organisers are, are local to the town, a really lovely couple. They are great at what they do. They give us a commentary of the tour, which added to the entertainment experience. So we came close to the seals in their natural environment and it was fascinating to see. Um, and to, to crown it all, at the end of the trip, nature gifted us a view of the rainbow. The video really doesn't do justice to the real experience, but it's close to it, I guess. Works by floating the vessel to be worked on into the dock at high water. The dock having already been flooded and sunk to allow this to happen. The tide goes out and the vessel settles into the dock. Then at low tide the dock sea cocks are closed and any remaining water pumped out for the next incoming tide to float the dock with the visiting vessel now safely resting dry on the bottom of the dock. It's completion though late in the progression of World War I, enabled huge amounts of munitions. All the equipment of war to seamlessly move from factory to the war front on board the three ships built for this work. Even great naval guns were transported in this way, but their great weight dictated that they be loaded two abreast at a time down the double tracks to maintain the ship's stability. Then came the thought that if the rail deck rails were filled in with timber, they could use the ships to move army lorries and anything that goes on the roads. Naturally, a large lifting gantry was needed to operate the link span height to the heights of time. Three ships were built. Uninspiringly named TF-1, 2, 3, TF for train ferry. The other two going to Southampton and Harwich. Our gantry actually survived. It is to be seen at Harwich where it replaces the...
road is going that way. Yes. This was February, so though the weather was glorious, it was still freezing. Um, at the end of the boat trip, we needed to warm up a bit, so we went to a coffee shop nearby for some warm drinks before leaving back to our cottage.